I'm Sam Ramji. The question I often get asked is, why do I need an API? Well, there's two sides to that question, much like there's two sides to APIs. On one end is the app. You ever push a button on something like TweetDeck or maybe Flipboard and you wonder, hey, what's on the other side of that button? On the other side of the app is an API. Now there's a developer who wrote the app. They need an API because they're trying to get at a big service that already has thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions of users, and that has all sorts of complexity in the back end to make it scale. What would be the alternative of calling a Facebook API or a Twitter API? Well, you'd have to build your own social network and it would all have to run on your device and you'd have to have all that stuff on your phone and obviously that's not possible. So developers need APIs because we've moved beyond libraries and now we're calling services over the internet and feeding them directly into our app. Now, why does a provider need an API? Why did Twitter need an API to build their business? Why did Facebook need one to build theirs? Why do companies like Sears now have APIs? So digital natives and digital immigrants have figured out that if they have an API in front of their company, they can expose their back end, they can expose their data, their logic, their business services, whether they're in the business of selling movie tickets or pizzas or taxi rides, whether they're in the business of shipping physical goods like Sears or digital goods like Netflix and pushing movies over the internet. By having an API, developers that are writing these new apps can write great ways to click on an app, have a great experience, and still draw in the provider's business. APIs really exist in two different ways. There's data APIs, which is really data about what you want to do, and then there's transactional APIs. That's the data about doing. Let me give Netflix as an example. The data about Netflix is captured in what are all the movies that could be seen? And what are the preferences of people who've seen one movie? Why would they want another? The transactional part is when somebody clicks play and says, I want that movie now. And they're able to check up, see their subscriptions valid, send them that data, pay a license back to HBO or Stars or whoever they're buying the content from, and then the whole circle's complete. So that's why you need APIs, creating apps, connecting developers, writing the apps to providers who want their businesses to grow based on the ability to reach millions of new consumers around the world.